Hi friends, in this video, we will try to understand one of the important feature of object-oriented programming that is data encapsulation. Most of the time, people are confused with the terminology data abstraction and data encapsulation. When I say data abstraction, we just focus on the relevant information and the essential information and we try to ignore the rest of the details. For example, when I say a class called as employee, using my data abstraction, I identify that we have some employee number, employee name, I have a salary, and I have something called as a job. Whereas when I say something called as data encapsulation, once I identified this particular details, I try to group this particular things with the support of a class. Identifying the relevant information and grouping that particular data together, we call it as data encapsulation. Encapsulation not only concentrates on grouping this particular thing, it also concentrates on providing the security for this data. For example, when I say this, I should not allow the users to access this particular information directly. So I try to provide some kind of methods like say, set employee, through which I allow the users to set the information. I may say get employee, through which I may try to display the details of employee. I may be interested in updating the salary. So I say update salary. So I try to identify the things and I group the information together. So encapsulation means not only grouping the details together, it also takes care about the security aspects and one of the essential feature of encapsulation specifies that you should not access the members directly. You should provide some kind of methodology to access the information through the properties or through some methods or behaviors. We will allow the users to access it. So performing this particular task through a program, we say that we are implementing data encapsulation. Data abstraction is just identifying the information, whereas data encapsulation is once the information is identified, grouping that particular data, providing the security for that information, how others you wanted to allow to access everything we specify using a concept called as encapsulation. Hope you are clear with the differences between abstraction and encapsulation.